Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I am showing you my front to back glute and hamstring focused workout. This was a good one. I post a lot of videos over on my Instagram showing you clips from my workouts. So today I thought I would do more of a full leg day workout for me, what I normally do on a leg day, kind of start to finish, and then be able to explain it more and go more in depth. So that's what we're doing today. I filmed this with my friend Miranda. I will link her Instagram below. Thank you so much for recording me and for being in it, so I appreciate that. But yeah, if you do like these kinds of videos, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments. I would very much appreciate it, and yes. So I don't have a microphone, so I'm gonna be trying to do a voiceover. I don't exactly know how it's gonna sound and how it's gonna be, but please just bear with me. Let me know if you have any suggestions or ways I can work on this. So yeah, my battery is flashing low, so let's get into the workout. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye. Moving right into our first exercise, we're gonna be doing sumo squats. So it's basically just like a regular squat, but with your toes pointed out and a little bit more of a wider stance going on. We're gonna make sure that we're hitting the 90, so get low on your squats. If you need to lower the weight to do so, then I highly encourage it. We're gonna be supersetting it with kettlebell Romanian deadlifts. So if you need to use dumbbells, you can go ahead and use those as well. Basically what I'm doing here is I have a slight bend in my knees, but I'm really hinging at my hips pushing my glutes backwards and then using my hamstrings and my glutes to pull myself back up. Kind of have a constant tension going on here so I'm not making the full entire rep. As soon as I come up, I go right back down. But if you look at Miranda in this, she's focusing on really getting that full rep. So she comes all the way up, she stops at the bottom for a second and comes all the way back. But again, she's hinging at her hips and no pain should be felt in your back when you're doing this. It should be your glutes and your hamstrings doing all the work. Moving into the next exercise, we're going to be doing three sets of eight reverse lunges on each leg. So when you're doing a reverse lunge, make sure to keep your chest up the whole time so that you can see what you're doing and keep your balance. And when you're going, make sure that your foot and your knee stay in line and that you're staying facing forward so that you're not rotating at your spine and this will be preventing injury. When you're coming back up from that lunge, really think about pushing your glute and using your glute to bring you back to the starting position. We're gonna be supersetting the reverse lunges with kettlebell swings. Here's Miranda doing it. I've actually never done them before. She taught me, so thank you Miranda for that. My form is not the greatest as you'll see, but I'm working on it. So if you see that she's hinging at her hips the whole time. So this kettlebell isn't actually being raised by my arms. My arms aren't actually doing all of the work. It's all coming from that hip hinge. Clearly I was having some struggles. Our next exercise is going to be three sets of 10 hip thrusts. You'll see I have my back near the end of the bench and I'm not overextending my hips at the top of the movement to protect my back. I'm pushing through my heels and my big toe and I'm using Gracie's band to make this a little bit harder. Make sure you're squeezing your glutes because I promise this is like my favorite glute demolisher, you will cry. And we're gonna be supersetting this with some Swiss ball hamstring curls. So here you see Miranda, she's keeping her hips up and she's just pulling in that ball using solely her hamstrings. This really engages your core too because you're gonna have to be balancing. So while you're doing this, Make sure that your ball is going straight out and straight back in. Try not to let it go side to side. You can see that I kind of wobble here because it is hard to balance. This will really burn out your hamstrings and they will be thanking you tomorrow. We're finishing off this workout with five to 10 assisted pistol squats. We're using the TRX for some help. If you can do them on your own without holding on to anything, then I suggest doing that as well. This will really actually burn out your quads and your glutes as well. And we're gonna be doing 10 on each leg and then we're gonna be supersetting that with 10 jump squats. If you can't get 10 pistol squats, I just encourage you to do five to 10. So here again, we're doing the pistol squats, really focusing on using your glutes and your quads to bring you up and just using those handles for some guidance. And again, supersetting that with 10 jumping squats. Your glutes and quads will be crying after this, so I hope you enjoy. 
So that was the workout. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, please let me know if you have any like advice for me to make it better. Maybe film longer, talk less, talk more. I don't know, I would love your advice. So I hope you have a great day. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, I would very much appreciate it. And I will see you in my next video. Hope you have a great day.